Budget cuts for Medicaid therapy programs statewide could leave many Texans without therapy services. Hundreds right here in the Panhandle could be affected. ABC 7's Natalie Granda live at the Turn Center to tell us more. Natalie? Good evening, guys. Well, I'm actually in one of the rooms where a lot of these uh, therapy services take place. And right now, the Turn Center provides service for more than 300 kids with special needs. But employees here say that, say that those services could actually be harder to provide as lawmakers have proposed to take millions out from the state's Medicaid uh, uh, therapy program, leaving many parents worried about their kids' care. Good job. For three-year-old Kaya Raining, even pressing a button is a challenge. Right around two months old, she started having seizures. She's three years old, but she's developmentally, she's probably around like a two month old. So Kaya and her mom come here to the Turn Center to receive one-on-one -on -one occupational therapy. Her mom says she's seen a huge improvement in her daughter. Push. But Kaya's mom, Cynthia Reining, uses Medicaid to help cover the therapy. Now she's worried she will lose these services. We wouldn't be able to do any of this with medi without Medicaid. And when they do make those cuts, it scares me because I don't know how often we're going to be able to come to therapy. The Texas legislature plans to cut about $350 million to Medicaid therapy programs. That's a quarter of the program's entire budget. The Turn Center is a nonprofit center and provides therapy services to more than 300 children with special needs. Many use Medicaid to pay. 50% of our children receive Medicaid services, and, and of that 50%, you're taking a 30% uh, cut in, in revenue. Therapists say these services are not only crucial to many of these children's health, but also a big help for parents. They can regress in how well they're doing functionally at home. Um, and so that's, you know, our role in that instance is to just educate, educate the parents and hope the parents can follow through on stuff at home. The Turn Center says regardless of the turn of events, they will make sure to find ways to fund these services. In the meantime, Cynthia and Kaya will continue with therapy and hope to continue their sessions in the future. Without coming to somewhere like this, we wouldn't honestly know what to do to help her. Now, local representative uh, for Price also sent this letter to the Health and Human Services Commission asking them to look at all aspects of these cuts and to especially look at therapy access in rural areas. The cuts are expected to happen in September, but it's still under review. Live at the Turn Center, I'm Natalie Granda, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Natalie.